just a moment putting the bike away. Making solar panels is not necessarily difficult. All you need is two pieces of conducting glass, some titanium oxide, graphite, electrolyte liquid and colorant that can be, for instance, squeezed from berries. Because it's child's play to manufacture, a cheap solar panel can be used almost everywhere. The idea of organic solar panels comes from the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne in Switzerland, where its research was pioneered by Michael Gretzel. The history is, uh, behind that is that I was always intrigued with uh, natural photosynthesis. The way the, the plant uses molecules to generate charges and separate those charges and nature then uses those charges to make chemicals out of water, oxygen and out of CO2. I was interested to try to mimic the primary charge separation step. And uh, the only PhD student who worked on photoelectrochemistry in my lab was Hans de Silvestro. And I said, Hans, why don't you try to do this sensitization experiment on a foil so that we can perhaps see some current flowing from that injection reaction. And uh, he said, yes, fine, I, we could do that, no problem. It's, 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 I do it just on the side. As I, I asked him how, how was the experiment. And he said, well, not too good. I had to, just a few microamps current. And so I said, that's actually quite a lot. It's much more than what you know, usually you get. And so then we persisted. And finally, we were measuring milliamps. I was convinced that this finding could be taken to commercial applications. It just took longer than I thought it would take. Organic solar panels do not have the same efficiency level as silicon panels, but they have other advantages. We can make those, those panels translucent. In other words, you can look through the glass. It will be colored, but the color could be faint. You could even make a colorless glass that produces electric power by using a near-infrared sensitizer. The other line is the, 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 the flexible one, very lightweight. You can fold it up, you can put it in your bag, you unfold it. And one thing that we have, the big advantage with our technology, it works, it's the best in terms of efficiency in ambient light. What we see more and more will be that the, uh, the solar cells will become integrated in the living space. They could be a piece of furniture, they could be the keyboards. One of our these cells, the application is on a keyboard. Uh, put in uh, as a lamp on the street, uh, 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 autonomous uh, lamps that have no uh, power supply. You're perhaps not even aware anymore, but we don't need the plug. <laughs> Things work without a plug. Yeah.